So this is a continuation of the earlier modeling activity that we have done. I have uh, taken now a new video in order to keep the videos a little bit shorter. So for example, you may want to use this uh, technique, for example, to model the motion of a car. So let's say uh, you can select now uh, something called user defined and you can now actually choose and drag hold on to the mouse you can actually drag the uh, the car to a new position so if let's say this you put you re you require some fine tuning so you can click on the input field key in pen and then click on the back button if that is necessary and you can find now the car is in a new position which is uh, 10 meters away from the origin and because that's because we have chosen the user defined option so the user can actually create their own scenario and for example you think that the speed is um, going to increase by 15 after 20 seconds so the velocity will be uh, where did the okay so let's backspace I'm using the handphone so it's a, a little bit difficult but this is the exact thing that we want to demonstrate that it is relatively possible to conduct inquiry using the simulation that we have built hmm, let's see uh. zero Point seven five. Enter. Okay. So after you key in the zero point seven five, and then now you can actually click play to simulate. But before that, in order to demonstrate the modeling uh, pedagogical move, so now the student can now propose a model. So maybe say, based on what I think very quickly, uh, maybe say it starts off with a position of ten. Okay. Uh, and uh, it should move at a uniform speed of 0 0.75 multiplied by t so I believe that this should be able to describe the model that I've just keyed in so you can now backspace to view the simulation again and let's see uh, whether this model and uh, and the data simulated coincide nicely so you can see that it actually moves quite nicely out uh, let's let's try to pause it try to maximize the view because now it's getting really small uh, but that, that has to do with the constraint of the handphone uh, so let's look at the without just look at the car alone you know oh did i accidentally shift something oh yes i did Okay, so uh, it has moved to minus 2.1. Okay, that, that's uh, okay. So in other words, I have demonstrated to you. So this hopes to have demonstrated uh, the ability of the modeling within the simulation. So now you can try to model something else. For example, uh, you can model, you choose user define, and you can key in now, for example, five as a starting position and the initial speed perhaps it, it travels uh, 45 minus 5 that's 40 so that's um, two meters per second okay and before you run the simulation perhaps you like to predict what the model does so again you can uh, for the ease of uh, you can key in your own or I actually design a show me button or oh, that but it probably doesn't capture it uh, accurately enough uh, I will try to fix it later on so you can see that uh, this uh, simulation tries to allow you to play as well as predict what it will do and because of the discrepant event or the difference between the simulator and the model that you propose and you can iteratively come up with better equations hopefully 
and, and this making the effort to learn will actually deepen your understanding of the physics in the simulation.